A group of friends get together and go out to go camping. And they was well prepared. Lots of music. And somebody got the shit beat out of them. <laughs> Cove. Written and directed by Rob Willie. The movie starts off with this group of friends. They're getting together to go to this campsite. You know, they go on camping. You know, spending that friend time. Getting that friend time going on. And now I gotta say, the first 40 minutes of this movie is all about having a good time, hanging out with friends. You hear a bunch of music, you know, living in the sunset. But you, you know, and you get a couple of rap songs and a couple of this and that. You know, the movie is, is definitely full good time for the first 40 minutes of this movie. You know, the comedy is funny. Everybody has the good one-liners. Like, the movie is cool on that aspect. But then... You know, they, okay, they, they end up, you know, hanging out or whatever. They're at the campsite. They end up running into these other guys, these other three guys that's there. And it's no problem. It's no trouble. Because at first you would think that the other three, the guys that they run into is going to be the problem. But that's not the case. So next thing you know, they're all hanging out. Uh, one from, from the other group, from the other campsite, one of the guys come back with them. And the girl that, you know, she broke up with her boyfriend. So she, you know, she's been in a two-year relationship. So... You know, you know how that is when you just break up with someone. Sometimes you, you become a little vulnerable, but you sort of pull back and you're like, what the fuck am I doing because I'm moving too fast? But everybody goes in that tent. Everybody, like, tied, worn out. They done took shrooms. I mean, they had a lot of shrooms. They had weed. They had everything you could possibly imagine that you could take on a camping trip. Maybe wish I was there for that shit. But next thing you know, <laughs> the guy that's in the tent with the girl, he ended up kissing her. And she's like, well, listen, you know, maybe we just need to take it slow. You shouldn't even have him in the tent in the first fucking place. But she ended up kissing the guy, and he's like, well, let me kiss you one more time before I leave. So he go in to kiss her, and then it turns from him trying to kiss her to raping her. And then to him getting dragged out the tent and having the holy shit 5,000 beat the fuck out of him to the point where he started foaming at the mouth. But he was trying to tell the guy, you know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And the guy was like, what you say, motherfucker? He's like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And he just jumped back on him and started wailing his ass out and took the guy out. Motherfucker with eight. Shit, like, well, not because you know his sister got raped, you know, a year before that day happened. So you you can understand why a person mind would just flip switch like that. But the movie was okay. Like I said, I like the beginning. That I love, love the good times and all that good stuff. But I wish it just had more, more stuff than more killings or something. It just didn't bring it up. But let's get this movie a rating, shall we? I give this movie a big ass what. I said, guys, the movie, about 40 minutes of the movie is about good time, party, have fun, chilling. And, and it was fun watching that, you know? But if, if a movie's labeled, labeled a horror, then where's the horror? Because there was not much horror. It's like you got like maybe 20% horror and like full on throttle, just comedy. And now if it's a comedy horror, then I can understand that aspect. But that wasn't the case. It just was... 40 minutes of just good time, had fun, drugs, kissing, and everything else was just two seconds of die, 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 and that that's that. And like I said, the movie is, is still not a bad movie. I got through it, and it still was fine. You know, it was nothing, nothing bad about it. I just wish that the slasher situation was just there, and it just wasn't there. And this is why I got this review, which is, which is I, I didn't... Give it a bad rating. I gave it a, a pretty fair rating, so the movie's still watchable, but I just wish it just... Guys, next time, please. Don't forget to check this movie out if you want to see this movie. It's called Dark Cove. I told you what I thought about it. Let me know what you think about it. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to leave a comment. Let me know what you think about this movie because I always like to hear y'all feedback on these movies because, you know, independent movies rocks, and this is where... This is the home for it. And to all my movie lovers, I love you.